To check wear and tear to the cog inside the clipper, we need to use the Phillips head screwdriver on the double-ended tool from the clipper carry case. To view the cog, we need to undo the two screws either side of the clipper head that connects it to the clipper body. First, remove the blades from the clipper head to avoid catching your hands on the teeth of the blades. Then use the screwdriver to loosen and remove the two head screws. Carefully pull the head away from the clipper body. In the hunter clippers, the cog is inside the clipper head. Rotate the cog around to check wear and tear to the teeth. This cog is in excellent condition with no visible signs of wear. Here is a worn cog. You can see the teeth have sheared from the side causing issues with the operation of the clippers. By clipping with the least amount of tension on the blades, wear such as this can be reduced. To assemble the clippers back together, fit the head back onto the clipper body and replace and tighten the two head screws. Then fit the blades back onto the clipper head. Leave the tension loose until you're ready to clip again.